Hey guys, so I'm back and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this mermaid inspired look and so let's just get started. I'm just going to start off by priming my eyes with the Lac Pro Primer like always and then after you are done doing that, I'm going to take pumpkin pie of course from the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. I'm just going to use this color as my transition color. After you're done putting on that transition color, take a fluffy blending brush and I'm taking my E40 and I'm just going to blend this all over so that it doesn't leave a harsh line and it will also blend it out really nicely so that the colors will just go on naturally when you put on your main base lid color. For my base color, I'm using Effect from ColourPop and this is from the Matte Eyeshadow Collection. This is a beautiful turquoise navy blue color and I'm just going to put this all over the eyelid. If this part gets a little bit too messy, don't worry about it too much because you can just get a makeup remover and just remove all the excess blue that's around your eye area. And then after that, you can just take your blending brush. I'm taking back my E40 again from Sigma. I'm just going to blend out the transition color and the color effect so that it could create a nice crease look. Then I'm taking my Sigma E25 and I'm just going to take the color Deep Rose from the Coastal Sands Hot Pots. I'm just going to concentrate this on my crease and then also blend it out with the transition color. And you know the drill, just blend everything out because you want a nice soft look. And sometimes when you're blending things out, the base color can kind of disappear. So just go back and use Effect and put it all over your lid again. And the next color I'm going to use is called Cherry Moss. And this is such a gorgeous color. I'm just going to put this on the base of my eyelid. And this will create a nice gradient look towards the middle. And then after that, I'm going to take my E40 again. I'm just going to take the color deep rose and I'm just going to concentrate this on the crease so that it can just darken up the crease and make it look even more dramatic. Then I'm taking this white color from one of the e.l.f. prism palettes and I'm just going to put this on my inner corner and this is just going to make your eyes pop and then I'm just going to remove any excess makeup and then here is just another video of me doing my wing eyeliner and this wing eyeliner actually turned out pretty nice so if you guys have questions just let me know but it is pretty self-explanatory it's really easy and I'm just using my NYX jumbo eye pencil and black bean or something like that and yeah put it on my mascara and stuff like that So for foundation, I'm using the Fit Me Doing Smooth Foundation and the shade 120. And it looks like I already have foundation on. That is because I did my first application and I didn't press the record button. So I decided to do two applications for you guys. But I'm using my flat top kabuki to blend everything out. And then for concealer, I'm using the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And I'm just doing this to cover my dark circles. And then to set that, I like to use my taper kabuki and then take my flat angle kabuki and use the color banana from the Anastasia contour kit and just kind of set it with that and it just gives me a perfect flawless look for under my eyes. Then for a lightly contour look, I'm just going to take the color Havana from the Anastasia Contour Kit and just kind of blend this out on my forehead and by my cheekbone area to my chin. After that, I like to take a stippling brush and just kind of blend everything out and get rid of any harsh lines that I created with the color Havana. Then I'm taking my e.l.f. blush palette in dark and I'm taking that last color and just kind of blend it out on my cheekbone and I'm using the Sonia Castor blush brush. And of course I have to go back with the same stippling brush and just kind of blend everything out. 
Next, I'm going to take my Elpressed Mineral Bronzer and Beach Bronze, and I'm just going to define my cheekbones with this after I put on my blush. And this bronzer is amazing. It's perfect to kind of, you know, define your face. And then afterwards, I'm just going to blend it out. And then, of course, I have to use my stippling brush afterwards to just kind of get rid of all the harsh lines and just make everything blend out together. I decided to go for a nude lip for this look and I'll list everything down in the description box below but this is basically the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't yet and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!